So, 3983 East 53rd, and this happens to be Newburgh Heights. Very nice area. I've sold a few houses in this area before. So, let's get started. The POS hasn't come back yet, but it's going to say uh, paint the porch and um, paint the brick. Correct the lattice. I don't think they're going to make you replace the porch. Because uh, it's not sagging. It's just uh, the paint is chipping. Gutters all look good. Siding looks good. The driveway is definitely kind of cracked up. Glass block windows. You're gonna need to replace the screens for those two windows. The yard. The grass cut is gonna be on that as well. They're gonna say to remove or replace that fencing. I would just take it down because this seems to already be here. The garage absolutely has no roof. So that's gonna need to be done. Uh, maybe 25 shingles on the back of this roof is missing um, but the rest of the roof looks just about new back door back video start with the basement Wow. Walls are already dry locked. You have your water meter. Old school knob and tube. It's like a moisture problem there, but not quite enough to have said. The floor doesn't appear to have ever been wet, so it could just be the humidity in the walls, which most Cleveland houses have. Old school Goodman furnace that is probably still up and running. Duck work, an old school hot water tank. I would literally replace both the furnace and the hot water tank. And the storage so you see that was a water point you can tell that this is where water actually comes in so I would actually seal the outside scrape and re-dry lock this uh, but overall this is a pretty good basement now let's check upstairs hallway. They're going to say smoke detectors, uh, paint, seal detector, and floors need replacing. Wow. I haven't seen metal kitchen cabinets in a while. All of this needs to be ripped out and replaced. Looks like there's a pantry. Oh wow, a full bath downstairs. It looks almost perfect outside of painting. And an old storage uh, of some sort. Let's see if I can open it. 
anything comes out of this. Oh no. Okay. So literally this old school uh, original looks to be cedar wood. And then of course you have a little back porch. And then off the kitchen, we have the dining room. Dining room looks to be in pretty great shape. Have a little coat closet in the dining room. For a better view, uh, lead built-ins. Original wood, living room. Wow, and a cool little small foyer uh, right off the kitchen and the living room, which you don't find in houses anymore. Uh, foyer is pretty big, actually. Let's head upstairs. Original wood. It doesn't get better than this. I would put a barn door there and keep this as the linen pantry. Wow, well, let's go here first. So this is the first bedroom. Wow, very deep closet. Has to be about seven and a half, eight feet. And then a second closet, about the same, seven and a half, eight feet. And this is one bedroom. Um, that's about eight by 24 feet. Narrow, but it's long. And then across to this area, which is another huge closet pantry area. And then another bedroom. Can't make that a closet because that's the vent. So you have to be creative in this room. This is definitely the problem in this particular house. So you have three bedrooms and no bathroom upstairs. You would have to figure out how to engineer a bathroom here, and that's the attic. It's enough space for a shower, tub combo, uh, toilet, shower, tub combo there, absolutely. Um, tub toilet and a sink and you would have to close off this bedroom access and this would be the entrance to the upstairs bathroom and this would absolutely make it a three and two um there has to be a way to make this work but here lies the problem the only bathroom is downstairs off of the kitchen outside of that it's a pretty dope house very interesting.